Let's go, and welcome back everybody to Doki Doki Literature Club Abridged. Last episode we left off with one of the most important questions that we could be asked, and that is, who are we going to spend our time with during the festival preparations? If you missed last episode, you may be asking yourself, why does Natsuki have big schlobber knockers? Guess what? You're going to have to go back to the last episode to find out. So with that being said, who do we spend our time with? It's a little interesting, actually, because I thought we were only going to get the options of Natsuki or Yori, because currently Monika, what, what she said to us just a couple minutes ago was, I don't give a fuck what you do, fuck who you want to fuck, because I don't fucking care about who you fuck, Rar. Leave me alone. I know I'm not a choice. I know I'm not a route. I just want to have fun at the festival. So choosing Monika, what would that really do? I'm not sure. Siori, she said she's busy getting prepared for her appointment. She's got to reinforce the ceiling tiles. You know what it is. So she's busy. I don't know what'll happen if we choose her. Natsuki or Yuri? Well, you know, now I'm realizing something. I don't know what's going to happen if I choose Natsuki or Yuri either. Even though it makes sense, they're here, they're available. I don't know what we're going to do. Maybe they just want to go have gay lesbian sex without me even being involved. I don't know. Maybe nobody's an option. Maybe we're going to be forever alone. They're going to give us some arts and crafts to go do at our own house. I don't know, but the only way to find out is to make a choice. <sighs> okay. Yuri, hell to the nah, my dude. I don't give a heck about Yuri. Siori, listen, brother, <clears throat> she's been an absolute horn dog in this game, and I don't know if I'm a actually everybody's kind of been a horn dog in this mod. Okay, I just don't really. Okay, who's best girl? That's right, Natsuki, of course. So why are we even thinking about anybody else? I like food. Great, we'll meet at your place and use your kitchen. What? Why? Because if my dad sees me bring a boy into the house, he'll assume that you're there to help put a bun in the oven, either figuratively, figuratively or literally. <laughs> okay. If it's the former, he'll kill two birds with one stone and beat you to death using me as the club. <laughs> and if it's the latter, he'll bitch me out for wasting money on baking supplies when we can't afford our air bill this month. And then go back to the physical violence option anyway. <laughs> okay. I understand. I understand. Uh, so meet at my place, you said. Yep. Literally being everything else necessary, since I don't trust you to actually do it yourself, right? Oh, oh, sorry. Natsuki will bring everything herself. Uh, okay. That's not fair. Uh, you're okay with going to get stuff for cupcakes ahead of time, then? I... I thought you said we were baking. Ah, uh, doy, yeah. We're baking cupcakes, bro. Wait. Baking is how cupcakes are made? I'm just gonna bring literally everything necessary. You at least have an oven to bake in, right, bro? Wait, ovens are how things are baked? Look, cut me some slack. I already have to use my dishwasher for four different things. I mostly use my oven as a clothes dryer. <laughs> okay, dude. Uh, that reminds me. Uh, make sure to ask before you open the dishwasher. That's a callback joke, is it not? Oh, yeah. Are we even sure the player has been, uh, has seen the first part of this brick joke? Uh, he is not, no. It is... Unique to my exclusive scene. Okay. See, this is why I ask. As would have been established, uh, had you viewed your poetry exclusive scene in this playthrough. Ra has only two rooms in his house, neither of them is a bathroom. As a direct result, he uses the dishwasher as a combination of dishwasher, shower, and toilet due to this. Thanks for dissecting that frog, Yuri. My pleasure. Okay, so that being the case, 
Did you decide who you're helping yet? Uh, yeah, it's... Don't care, hurry up. Uh, I feel like we just went through an if statement, but we just got the less interesting shorter option. Probably. So, anyway, uh, my house? Yeah, you said you wanted to go do this stuff right now, with transitions? Uh, yeah. I suppose both of, both of you may proceed to have an enjoyable experience together, alone. Oh, I'm sorry, I didn't, uh... Damn it. Uh, you know, you guys could both come over. It's not like my house has some sort of a maximum occupancy of two sign at the front door or something. Not since I took it down anyway. I'm gonna let the government tell me. <laughs> I'm not gonna let the government tell me how many people violate the fire code. Anyway, uh, this just lets us all hurry the hell up and get this shit done with already. I mean, I know you guys just started going out. I don't want to, like, step on all that. I think... I got two rooms in my place after all. I'll just stick to the other one and you guys can watch TV or whatever it, you know, it is that you couples do together alone in a room. Uh, one condition I just thought of. If you two make a mess, can you like at least clean it up? By what manner of co-population do you surmise our activities will consist of, Ra? Look, I just gotta cover all my bases. All right. You know, you're, we know Yuri's into that kinky shit, my dog. They go into my room, they're like, you know what, Natsuki, we'll never get another moment like this again. Imagine if Raw's about to come in the room, you never know what might happen. Oh shit, the cover's already soaked. <laughs> Just thinking about it. Uh, I already have to clean my dishwasher out like five times a day. I don't want to add sterilizing a room to the list too. Oh, speaking of which, can I, like, claim the kitchen when we get back? Uh, I've been in this room for the last 8,000 years or whatever stupid number Monica pulled out of her ass, and I've really gotta go. <clears throat> uh, yeah, okay, but you definitely, uh, you are definitely waiting until after I get all the dishes I need first. I'm curious, is this merely an excuse to cut down on the amount of writing and coding the mod maker needs to do? Uh, no. No, it's not just that. Oh, my curiosity is satiated enough to not inquire any further. I also agree. Cool. We're suddenly standing outside of my house. You know, I just realized, I think the only cu custom assets that this mod has had so far is Natsuki having big boobs. <laughs> well, yeah? kind of funny <laughs> i see uh we, we we put the budget we put the budget into the parts that matter you know i'm guessing we all uh we all just walked here together after getting some stuff or something i don't know also we're all still wearing our school uniforms for some reason and i don't feel particularly interested into asking why anyway yuri's got a bunch of art crap and natsuki's holding a bag that's larger than herself somehow so uh yeah this one's uh my house Oh, wait, this is your domicile? Yeah, what, you know it or something? Uh, uh yeah. Previously, you had mentioned that there are presently only two rooms, correct? Yeah. The basement is not one of them, is it? No, I threw that one old, I threw that old one out. Someone hid a bunch of bodies in the foundation, and I didn't want to bother dealing with them. I was gonna go get a new one, I just haven't yet. Oh, you were already aware. That's a relief then. This means my particular issue regarding your abode is that it starkly indicates your significantly lower class status than my own. <laughs> I suppose I could avoid referencing this enormous disparity were I merely to refer to it as quaint and avoid commenting on it any further. Dude, our house is like big though cool anyway want to head in verily 
Unless we're going under the logic that like literally it doesn't even matter that the house is big because it only has two rooms. But if it only has two rooms, the rooms must be very big. Who's to say? Y Who's to say? You know how, how right? We, we don't know what's behind us. The, the backgrounds we look at, all we see is the frontal view. MC's room, if we turn around, there might be a whole kit and caboodle we don't even know about. That room might be five times bigger than we actually know of. Anyway. Uh, what was that about the basement? I shall uh, recount the details at a later time. <laughs> as soon as we get inside, Natsuki breezes by me uh, and shoves her bag into my chest. I immediately drop to the ground because I'm that pathetic. Ah, oh, jeez, what did you do? Throw in a couple, a few black holes that you just happen to be lying around? Oh. Sorry, a little indigestion. Let me take a sip of water. I just finished eating uh, three slices of pizza in about one and a half seconds flat. Let me know down in the comments below. Do people consider you a fast eater or a slow eater? Fast camp all the way. Every day. In fact, I almost never get, it, it bear, I, I sometimes forget I eat so fast because my whole family eats super fast, so it's only when I'm eating out with like other people. Anyway, I don't know. Mm. We are good now though, let's go. Uh, what? I thought I was, uh, I thought I was joking around when I said that I was going to bring everything that we needed. Oh, sorry. We thought, of course not. In response, I look inside the bag. I already told you, I have an oven. Uh, yeah, well, it wouldn't be the first time someone said that to me and been wrong. <laughs> anyway, I'm gonna start setting up in here. This might get, uh, loud. Hmm. Particularly loud noises aren't that conductive to activities which require generating lines that specifically require a lack of similarity to cooked pasta. So I may request that I assemble in an area which will be distinctly devoid of a background ambience resembling a jackhammer on a chalkboard. I'm gonna nod my head and agree to whatever you just said. Because you make the other half of my brain start to bleed. Perfect. I will immediately proceed to rifle through your personal effects while I'm left alone. Uh, yeah, I'm just gonna start, uh, turning not food into food here. Cool. So, uh... Wait, who did I agree to help again? <laughs> hey, Natsuki? Yeah? Were you the person I agreed to help? Yeah, dumbass, it's me. Cool. Uh, this should be a lot of fun for us. I've been looking forward to it. Oh my god, would you ever be looking forward to something that having fun with me? Because I'm not cute or something like that. I'm definitely not. Uh, anyway, cool. Um, help me with this thing over here. Wait, uh, what thing? The baking thing, idiot. Oh yeah, uh, I know how to do that. Good. I'm an expert at baking after all. It's a trait that would make me a great domestic partner. Uh, cool. Your cupcakes were really good earlier. I know, right? Wait, you're okay with that compliment, but me calling you cute- Oh my god, were you about to call me cute? Why would you even- Shut up. I wasn't even done yet. Uh, my bad. Uh, go on. Thanks. Where was, uh- <clears throat> Oh, right. <laughs> Is problematic? Oh. Well, I'm sorry, I cut you off really close to the end there. Yeah, well, it happens. Yeah, huh? Whoops. Uh, anyway, where was, uh... Alright! That I've uh, repeatedly established over the course of many interactions that I declassified my... I did not class myself as a fucking cute... Fuck me! I can't... I'm stumbling on my words! Baka! <sighs> but yeah, uh, blindly praising my greatness and uh, essentially worshipping me... Helps get on my good side, though. Too much of that too quickly makes me uncomfortable. In addition, I do like some playful banter and teasing, as long as you're into it as well. I already get enough real derision from my off-screen friends and my shitty dad, Baka Baka. <laughs> uh, now we can get uh, can we get back to baking? Uh, sure. I stopped listening to you before my last line. 
I was not. In fact, my ears perked up as soon as she said bending my knees down to her every will or something like that. That's pretty much what I got to it uh, from it is that she is okay with us being her slave. Let's do some cooking, baby. Uh, I'm already, I'm almost done making the cupcakes. Wait, what? How? Right, what the hell are you doing? Making cupcakes, baby! No, you set the oven to broil and shoved a stack of styrofoam cups into it. Oh my god, what the fuck? Exactly! I'm making cupcakes! Can I at least ask what your reasoning is? Well, you said that the oven's used to make these, right? So I took the ingredients and put them in the oven. I feel like I should point out that setting the oven on like that is the only way I have to heat my house. Okay. Here's what we're gonna do. Natsuki reaches into her enormous hack and... I have a really weird mental image in my head now. <laughs> enormous sack. Glad I didn't comment on it because I was about to. Dude, hurry up and finish narrating already. Uh, right, right, sorry. She reaches into her enormous sack and gorged coin purse, monumental. Okay, come, come, come on, come on, kid. Come on, kid. Okay, it was crossed out. We shouldn't have said it anyway. I just created my own reality from reading that. I shouldn't have did it. We knew what it was going to say. We knew it was going to be something degenerate. Just go over it. Act like it doesn't freaking exist, bro. God damn it. Now I can't stop thinking about it. <laughs> Whatever. She gets a thing and she gives it to me. This is gonna be the permission pan, okay? <laughs> what? Is... Uh, cool. I both love it and cannot comprehend it already. The permission pan. Natsuki, did you ask if you could use it? Uh, see, Rar, this is what you do when you want to have sex with a woman. You go up to it and you say, can I please have sex? You gotta ask for permission first, Rar. And then it says yes, and then you start kissing the pan, Rar. Here, you try. Uh... Anyway, since you're helping me out, I only want you to assume that you've got permission to do something on your own if you're holding it. Got it? Uh, sure. Awesome. One sec. Natsuki proceeds to whip the pan out of the nearest window. Now that that is out of the way... <clears throat> here, uh, help me make the batter. Start by getting some flour. Sure. Here you go, some flour. I haven't even seen it yet, but I can tell what the joke's gonna be by the spelling. I proceed to hand Natsuki some flour. Okay, seriously, do you understand what we're doing here? I don't even know what the basic ingredients that make up food are, or where they come from. <laughs> can I, like... Go bitch out of your parents real quick. I'm pretty sure this one's more their fault than yours. Wait, my parents. You are parents, dumbass. You know the people who combine genetic material to make you? Speaking of which, I'm really hoping it's that, and not that you just have some way the hell too much lead in the water. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> uh, I already mixed the water in here, and I'm not about to start over. Uh, no, I meant that I don't have parents. Oh. Shit, I'm sorry, I didn't... I didn't mean to bring up uh, whatever happened to him. No, 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 As in, I've never had parents. Wait, what the fuck? Yeah, no one has parents. You'd have to ask the other girls why they didn't have any, but I just didn't want to have extraneous characters in my life, so I turned them down. Bullshit, none of us have parents. My dad's a vague off-screen asshole. Uh, fuck you too. But, Dad, why are you here? I just said off-screen for a reason. Because fuck you, that's why. Get the fuck out of here. You're not supposed to have direct impact on the story. Cool, uh, great. I'm gonna go immediately fuck off and yell obscenities at whoever arted me into existence. Baka baka fuck off. Fucking love you, sweetheart. <laughs> See? 
if I even knew that not having parents was an option, I probably wouldn't have 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 the pro have have had half the problems <laughs> that I've. I'm gonna be swearing like every sentence now. I just know it. All right, look, I'm beyond done with this now. Just shut the. F Stop interpreting me and just do what I say without question or disobedience. Yeah. Sure. Good. Close your eyes for a sec. Okay. Natsuki, can I open them yet? What? <laughs> You're looking like a cutie, Natsuki. Well, what happened to your clothes and your magnificent mama? Without question. Holy shit. I didn't even realize why I thought Natsuki looked more attractive after she switched outfits. It's because she doesn't have boobs anymore. Oh my god. I thought I wasn't so shallow. Oh god. <laughs> I seriously couldn't place my finger on it. That has to be what it is. Oh my god. That's terrible. That's terrible. Okay, let's continue. Right, uh, sorry. Shove my finger, um, into that open can of drywall putty. Uh, okay. Now what? Hold me up against the wall. We're gonna save this for next episode. <laughs> I can tell this is gonna be a good one, baby. Like the video if you enjoyed, comment down below. below. I can't speak. Just, I'm, I'm done, dude. I'm done. You know the spiel. Sorry this episode was a little boring. Honestly, I felt like the whole episode was kind of like, eh. Comedy was like, eh. Eh. But I'm looking forward to the next part and the rest of the mod. I've heard that there actually is an act two and it also bangs. So it's all right, again, you know, have a little bit of dry episode. It happens every once in a while, whatever. You know what this did tell us though? We probably should have picked Monica's path. Pepe fucking hands. Anyway, thank you so much for coming by today, everybody. I live stream on Twitch every day besides Monday and Friday. Twitch link is down in the description if you wanna follow my channel and come hang out over there. With that being said, thank you so much for coming by today, everybody. Much love, take care, and have a damn good one. <laughs>